only erotic as his past work, but ultimately the most moving and romantic film of his, to me. It's an incredible A magnificently cryptic love thriller, Decision to Leave is a Park Chan-wook masterpiece. Detective Hei Jun encounters the deceased climber's mysterious wife, Seo Rae, throughout the course of his investigation. Park Chan-wook keeps the film moving at a breakneck pace, and the performances from Park Hae-il and Tang Wei are so powerful that they keep the audience on the edge of their seats. The narration is flawless and enjoyable, and the tone is eerily reminiscent of Alfred Hitchcock. Incredible as it may seem, Park Chan-wook has the capacity to transform genre films into works of astounding beauty. With virtuosic skill, director Park has crafted a mystery that keeps the audience on the edge of their seats with one tense, unexpected twist after another. The film's boldness and visual beauty permeate every frame, and the intricate details on display complement the cleverly crafted plot. In Decision to Leave, director Park reaches a dizzying pinnacle of his craft. <sighs>
capable of creating captivating sequences, the kind of things you would dream about or even express aloud during the planning process. Even while he lacks the resources of a Hollywood blockbuster, the quality of his storyline and his ability to stage breathtaking action sequences more than make up for this. RRR successfully blends fantasy and reality, and although the film presents an important story, it is primarily and completely enjoyable. First line point! Second line point! Attack! ये ड्रिल पंद्रह सेकंड में पूरी होनी चाहिए ठीक है बाबा बस ऐसे फिकल दिल खुशी और मास इम्पोर्टेंट है रिश्तों या कंटेनर ऐसा लोग शर्मिका सा पूरी The film follows Julio Stracera, a government prosecutor in Argentina. Once the military hunted dictatorship. Which had ruled from 1976 to 1983 was toppled. The newly installed democratic government decided to proceed with a war crimes trial against former military leaders for crimes committed during the so-called Dirty War, in which the dictatorship hunted down political dissidents. With the case resolved, it became the first major war crimes trial since Nuremberg and the first to be tried in a civilian court. There's little doubt that Argentina 1985 is a hit with audiences. It tells a narrative that may be upsetting to listen to, but it does it in such a way that we get emotionally invested in the victims by the time the true horrors of the junta are exposed rather than turned off by them. Many have attempted to achieve this level of expertise, but only Argentina 1985 has done it with such finesse. In one section of the film Argentina 1985, regular people speak out against a brutal deed committed by the Argentine government. The majority of the witnesses are women, and the accounts they provide of the atrocities they suffered will make you both feel sick to your stomach and wonder where humanity went wrong. You'll be moved by this real narrative of the determination of a small group to bring to justice the perpetrators of the most terrible atrocities committed against civilians by the Argentine military dictatorship. Argentina 1985 is a fascinating look back at a moment in the country's past. Fue desatando su iniquidad sobre los desprevenidos y los inocentes. Ali Hapasalo's endearing coming-of-age film is simply titled "Girl Picture," and this is done on purpose, as if to say this is a true and accurate depiction of what it's like to be a teenage girl nowadays. This film, which had its world premiere in the World Cinema Dramatic Competition at Sundance. Delivers on its promise by telling a straightforward yet endearing tale of three Finns in their teens coming to terms with their sexuality and romantic relationships. Mimi and Ronco, childhood best friends, are on the verge of becoming women in girl picture. The two young women, eager to embark on new experiences filled with passion and pleasure, set out on a journey to discover who they were as individuals. Emma, on the other hand, has decided to make figure skating her life's work and is determined to succeed by any means necessary. When their paths cross, these three young women learn the hard way that the road to adulthood is not always easy. However, the journey's unpredictability and difficulty are more than offset by the delights of rediscovering oneself and one's boundless desires. Tässä kuuluu sitä puttaa. 